Hey, what is up everyone? In this video with Season 8 coming out, we need to talk about how do you actually participate in the Season 8 content. So with Season 8, we got this new PvP system, which is basically on-demand PvP whenever you want. But it might be a bit confusing for some people, so that's what this video is for. So some things that are important to know, anyone, even if it's your first time playing or you've been playing for many years, anyone can use this new system so there's no requirements that are blocking you from playing with this so before you do anything it's very important that you get supplies i'd personally recommend going to the merchants and buying a storage crate and then taking that storage crate and going around the outpost to all the barrels and collecting as many supplies as you can the reason you need to do this is because once you're in the fight you really can't supply up at all and you don't get supplies given to you so you need to try to supply up as much as you can because sometimes in these fights it might just be a battle of who has more supplies because some people that are less prepared will just go in with the default amount of cannonballs they have and then they run out of it because they just shoot all of them like right at the start of the battle and then you can come in and just destroy them because you're the only one with supplies now. So it's very important that you do this before anything else. So now how to actually start a battle. When you're ready to fight, go onto your ship and go to the voyage table. On the voyage table, you'll see this hourglass shape. So this thing lets you choose which side you want to fight for. You can either fight for the pirate legends, or you can fight for the reapers. And you can switch between these two whenever you want, but you have to basically stop fighting and then switch. I would recommend playing for both because you can unlock cosmetics on either side and just kind of level them up together. So after choosing which side you're going to fight for, open up the war map that's next to it, and then start a battle. Now, there's a few ways that this can happen. Either one, they might bring someone into your server, which means that your ship will see someone like pop up in the water and start sailing toward you. So before you start the battle and stuff, you might want to get your anchor up and get your ship ready to go, so that if someone spawns in on your end, you'll be prepared. But what's most likely going to happen is, once you vote to battle, it's going to give you a little prompt that says go out and sail into open water. So go onto your ship and basically sail where you're not going to be near any islands or any rocks or anything. After you do that, your ship is going to dive underwater and then it's going to start matchmaking you into a new server. If for some reason the matchmaking is taking too long, you can always go down to your voyage table and cancel matchmaking. This will bring you back to a new server where you can just kind of hang out. What I would recommend is if you're having trouble loading into a battle, try switching factions and maybe that will help. Because there might be some people that are playing a lot more on one faction and not playing on the other, which will make it easier for you to matchmake with them. But once the game does find a match for you, your ship will begin ascending up to the surface and then you'll be able to start fighting your opponent. Something to keep in mind about this battle, you only have a limited amount of space uh, you can see on your map. If you get near the boundary line, your ship will start giving you warnings to tell you that hey you're going too far out of bounds and if you go too far or you stay out there too long your ship will basically be instantly destroyed now this is very bad you don't want this to happen to you because it can really suck this is really important to know if you're the type that you're kind of like me who likes to jump off your ship and board someone else's ship and battle them make sure you have your ship going in a like a spin or something or just not going in a straight line or else you'll definitely lose. But that's just a quick rundown of how to start one of these on-demand PvP battles. There's so much more that we could talk about. I'll leave some links to other videos in the corner at the top and at the end of the video for you to check out that might help you with your PvP skills. But if you enjoyed this video, it'd be great for the like and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye y'all.